Hi guys, welcome to our, another week of our new series called Haya. I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna get ready to sing a song, but first we gotta pilot our own worship. Do you guys remember what pilot means? Well, here's a reminder. Ready? P, prepared. I, involved. L, loving to others. O, open to God. And T, team player. You guys got 15 seconds to get your pilot worship ready. Ready, set, go.
everyone welcome back to the Matt Surrey I'm so glad you came back to the festival today you caught me while I'm finishing up my breakfast you know meeting at the dojo has been having its perks because you know they love us and so after our 5 a.m. training uh, they give us breakfast for free and so I took it light today of course only having hibachi steak about six egg rolls two cups of egg drop soup and then just finishing up with a cup of noodles. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll just. I'm waiting for this thing to, to ring. I, I, I can't wait to hear. I, I really wish that Master Nun and Master Chuck would, would give me a, a call to let me know what's going on. I mean, this is only the most technologically advanced piece of equipment there is with all of the, the ninjas and the shinobi order. I, just a phone call away, and I just wish it would go off. <sighs> You know, this whole master training has been kind of a letdown so far. All the sensei keeps talking about is how we need to trade our habits and our bad habits and take off the, take off the bad and put on the new. When really, I want to know when I'm going to get down to my moves, you know, so I can master the art and do a nice hi -ya! right? I really wish this thing would go. But, you know, at least while I'm waiting for my assignment, uh, I get to do it here at the festival. You know, the Matsuri is the best. And, and Word on the Street says that today is the, uh, like, chopstick challenge, catch them challenge. Um, it's only had here at, the, at this festival. We're the only one in all of Japan that has it. So uh, at least we get to check that out. I bet you they catch them all. Let's see. chopsticks I just I think I'm getting the message okay hold on hold on hold on okay yes it is the message it's today's challenge are you kidding me what a letdown here I finally thought I get the the challenge for today and I can do a little more of my ninja moves this isn't doing that at all you know I want to get the challenges that are like, climb this 15 foot tall building and, and knock down these walls. But no, I get a challenge like this. 
This makes absolutely no sense. Why is this sensei killing me like this? Pointless challenges. So apparently my challenge is to use both, huh, yeah, to use both these chopsticks, duh, to transfer this mochi from this bowl to, oh, yep, there's another bowl in here, to that bowl. That is so stupid. How is this going to make me a ninja warrior? I mean, come on. I use chopsticks all day. But hey, according to the challenge, it says that if I drop one piece, I have to completely start over. This task doesn't make any sense. It's going to be a piece of cake. I've used these things all my life. I'm like the chopstick pro. One by one, moving them over. This is going to be so easy, but it is going to take forever. I mean, come on. I can almost do this in my sleep. I want to be learning the cool ninja moves. I need to be working on my physical strength. I need to be doing all this other stuff, not transferring mochi from one bowl to the other. I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. Look, it's even sticking. I can't believe this. This is so for oops I'm supposed to start over but I guess nobody would really know hey I got an idea no one sensei is gonna, not gonna know so let's uh let's make this a little bit faster hey uh can you guys help me Just don't tell anyone can you guys help me I just need some help to get from one bowl to the other because I don't want to spend all day doing this task. Come on. Come on. All right. Let's do it. Let's get it done. Transfer from one to the other. As many as we can. <laughs> what? You guys aren't chopstick expert? expert? Oh, sh get it in there. Get it in there. Come on. You know what? This is still, even with help, this is taking forever, even with help. So, uh, oh, oops, oops, got a couple out. I mean, you guys are doing good. You're helping me out, but this is still taking way too long. All right. Hey, guys, look that way. Whoa, a bird. Done. Whoa. All right. Hey, it got transferred. <laughs> well with a little bit of help and some help of my own doing, uh, I think I'm ready to check this challenge complete because I want to get on to some more, well, cooler assignments. And as soon as I mark this complete, then the sensei can give me a new assignment. So uh, I am so done with this challenge. Let's move on. So, all right. <sighs> Whatever. Number one. Did you complete the chopstick challenge alone? Yes or no? Well, not exactly. But it's not like the sensei is actually going to be here to be able to see exactly what happened. So uh, I'll just check yes for that question. All right. Question two. Did you follow the instructions for the task? Well, the instruction said that if I dropped one, I had to start completely over again. Uh, and I did drop a couple. But is that really such a big deal? Nah. I just want to be done with this challenge so I can move on. So uh, I'll check yes to that too. All right. And submit. Whew. There we go. Finally done with that assignment. Uh, hey. I already got a new notification from the sensei. You are. I hope you're getting along with your challenges in an honorable way. Truth is an important virtue that a ninja warrior must put on. There are times when deceiving other people may seem like an easy way to make them like us. In the book of Acts, we learn that we should put off lying 
and put on truth. There was a man in the Bible named Ananias who sold some land for a lot of money. He wanted everyone to think he was going to give all of the money he made to the apostles, the leaders of the church. But instead of giving it all to them, he lied by telling them that he gave it all when he actually kept some for himself. His wife Sapphira knew what he had done but also lied to help keep it a secret. Ananias brought the rest of the money and put it at the apostles' feet. Peter knew right away that Ananias was lying about the money that he kept for himself. He then explained to Ananias that when he lied to the apostles about the money, he had also lied to God, who knew what he had done. When Ananias heard this, he fell down and died. Later, Ananias' wife Sapphira came in not knowing what had happened to her husband. Peter began to ask her how much money they had gotten for the land. She also lied about the amount of money they had given, and when she did, Peter asked her how she could lie and test God. At that moment, she fell down at Peter's feet and died. The people watching this take place became fearful, realizing how important it is to tell the truth. While God's punishment for lying may not be the same for us today, our lies can still hurt our relationship with God and with others. When we think lying is easier, we need to take it off and put on telling the truth. That is the way to become a ninja warrior. That sensei is so confusing. I mean, instead of teaching me how to learn the, the fight, latest fighting techniques or teaching me where they keep all of the weapons supply, he keeps telling me how I need to change this and change that. And then to top it all off, he, these assignments that he sends me to do have nothing to do with learning how to do the latest sneak attack. I just don't get in. What, what was that story even about? What is the sensei trying to get me to understand? I, oh, why didn't I think about this before? Maybe I should reach out to Master Nun and Master Chuck, you know, Maybe they can help me understand what this sensei is trying to get me to learn. You know, that's, they're my mentors. That, that's kind of what they're for, right? Yeah. Why didn't I think of this before? Okay. Where can I call them? Um, they might understand that master of confusion. So uh, let's see. Oh, there they are. All right. Let's tune in here. I mean, that's what mentors are for, right? All right. Oh, I hope they can help. Hey, Chuck, how's it going? Great, I'm in a huge hurry. Um, will you watch this for me? But don't open it, it's a very big surprise. Okay, bye. Uh, okay. Huh, she sure was in a hurry. I wonder what's in here. <laughs> oh, that smells killer. Okay, I know she said not to open it, but I mean, one little peek won't hurt. <gasps> a cake? Oh, now what do we have here? Oh, okay, is it vanilla or cream cheese icing? Oh, just a little taste will solve this mystery. Mmm, it's vanilla, my favorite. <gasps> Wait a sec, is that chocolate cake? Oh, vanilla icing with chocolate cake is my favorite dessert of all time. I mean, one little bite won't hurt, right? <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, it's so, so good. Mm. Oh, no, 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 this isn't good. She, she can't know. Okay, I'll just put this back on. Just like this. There, and now she won't notice. Oh man, oh man, I shouldn't eat, shouldn't have eaten that. Oh, my stomach. I'll just stand here for a bit. Okay, sorry. I just had to go get a few things. Whew. Are you doing okay? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, just resting. It's a ninja skill that is imperative for uh, getting uh, in the zone. 
Yeah, yeah, the zone. Hmm, I guess so. Okay, okay, I can't wait any longer. This is for you. It's a surprise. <gasps> wait a second. What happened to the cake? Chuck, Chuck, do you know what happened to the cake? Oh, wow. I, that's so weird. I thought I was watching it the whole time. You know what? I think I saw an angry gang of, of squirrels in the dojo. Yeah, they probably attacked the cake when I least expected it. I mean, they are lightning fast. Yeah, that's probably when they got it. Oh, really? Angry squirrels, huh? Uh, yeah, squirrels, or, or, or what, maybe they were chipmunks. I can never tell the difference. Whatever it was, they were fast. Chuck, you're totally lying to me, aren't you? That cake was a special surprise just for you. It's your favorite chocolate cake with vanilla icing. I ran to get some ice cold milk to go with it. And you not only ate some, but you lied right to my face. I'm not lying. Oh, ow, those gangster squirrels. <sighs> okay, yes, I ate it, I lied, I'm so sorry. I ate the cake and now I live in frosting covered shame. Chuck, telling the truth isn't always easy, but you have to do it no matter what. If you would have just told me the truth, I could have helped you sooner. Let's go get something for your stomach ache. Like, like more cake or cookies? <laughs> no. Hmm. I'm starting to notice a trend here. My mentors are showing me all these crazy situations in which they uh, tell the truth. Um, and then the sensei sends me this story from the Bible about those two people that lied and didn't tell the truth and it did not end up good for them. I bet that means that the sensei is trying to help me understand that I've got to get in the habit of telling the truth. You know, living on the streets and, and doing what I do to survive Lying just became habit. It just is was part of me. But if I'm going to be a true ninja, I should probably take on the habit of telling the truth. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Earlier, I lied in the message that I sent to the sensei about the chopstick challenge. He, he asked if I followed all the instructions and did things right. And, and I said I did, and I, I didn't at all. Oh my goodness, I, I lied to him. Uh, what, what if he, oh, what, if, that's not good. This is not good. I, oh, if I go tell the sensei that I lied, he may kick me out of the program and then I'll never become an official member of the Shinobi order. I, I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. No, it's, it's too risky. I, I can't be truthful in this. It, it's way too risky. But at the same time, telling the truth isn't always easy. And, and if I don't tell the truth now, I'm, I, I'm never going to get in the habit of telling the truth. I know what I got to do. I'm a little scared to do it. But I've got to tell the truth. I've got to talk to the sensei and tell him what I did. Oh. Wish me luck, guys. You know Trump was nervous about talking to Sensei? Do you think she did the right thing by talking to him? Absolutely. It can sometimes be hard to change our bad habits. But Trump knew she had to in order to become a true ninja warrior. So this leads us to what we need to know today. Take off lying and put on the truth. Do that with me. Take off the lying and put on the truth. Take off the lying put on the truth. That's what we need to know today. Bible story, did Ananias and Sapphira tell the truth or lie? They lied. Satan tries to fill our hearts with lies all the time. But Jesus can keep, give us the power and tell the truth. 
even when it's hard. I'm so thankful Jesus helps us to fight and change our bad habits and replace them with new. And this is what this song is going to be all about. Okay, so we're going to play a game. It's called Three Truths and a Lie. I'm going to tell you three things about me, and you have to guess which one is a lie. And for every comment I get, I will send you something. So here are the three things. First, I have only lived in Pennsylvania. Second, I have a cat named Stuffy. Three, I can make animal balloons. The three things, again, are one, I have only lived in Pennsylvania. Two, I have a cat named Stuffy. Or three, I can make animal balloons. So comment, tell me what you think is a lie. you were able to guess my lie but you know what sometimes in real life we are tempted to lie but the great great news is Jesus can change our mind and our hearts so when he does we can take off the bad habits and put on the new just like we could take off lying and put on the truth remember take off lying put on the truth So remember earlier we talked about a guy named Ananias and his wife Sapphira? Well, they lied to God. So let's read a little bit more about their story. So today's story comes from the book of Acts. And as you know, the name, the guy's name is Ananias and his wife is Sapphira. I have a little game to play. I want you to do some motions when I said, say the words left, right, up, and down. When I say left, we're going to move to the left, slide to the left. When I say right, we're going to stomp to the right. When I say up, we're going to lunge forward. And when I say down, we're going to squat down. 
So you guys ready? We can't do this sitting down, right? So of course we need to stand up. So stand up, get your own little space ready, and let's practice some moves. Ready? Left, right, up, down. So now that we're warmed up, I'm going to start the Bible story and let's see what happened to them. Ananias and Sapphira believed in Jesus and were part of a church where other people believed in Jesus. All the believers were sharing their money to make sure everyone had the things they needed. Some were even selling land and houses they had and bringing the money to lay down at the apostles' feet. Those were the guys leading the church. Ananias also sold some of them, but he decided to keep some of the money to himself. He left some money behind and hid it. Then he went to take the rest to the apostles. His wife, Sapphira, knew he didn't take all the money with him, and she helped him keep this secret. When Ananias walked up to the apostles, he laid down the money at his feet, pretending to give him all the money. Peter asked him why he had allowed Satan to fill his heart. He explained that he had not done the right thing by lying to the people. He told Ananias that when he lied to the people, he also lied to God. When Ananias heard this, he fell down and died. After hearing this, the other believers were afraid and realized how important it is to tell the truth. So, later, Sapphira left her house and walked up to the apostles. She did not know what happened to her husband. Peter asked her if the money Ananias had given was all the money that had they had gotten for their land. She did not do the right thing. She lied and said it was all the money that they had been paid. Peter told her that her husband had died because he tested God by lying and she would die too. Then she fell down and died. Some young men walked up to carry Sapphira away too. You guys did a great job playing this game. You can take a seat. Just like Satan filled Ananias and Sapphira's hearts with lies, sometimes he fills our hearts with lies too. If we tell a lie, we're not going to fall down and die like Ananias and Sapphira did. But now we know that lying is not the right thing to do. Lying can hurt ourselves and it hurts our relationships with others. And most importantly, it hurts our relationship with God. The good news is that Jesus can change our hearts and minds. He can help us when we're tempted to lie. When we take off lying, what new habit would Jesus help us put on? Telling the truth. Yes, let's say that together. Take off lying, put on the truth. Okay, so we're going to do our memory verse today. You must be made new in your hearts and in your thinking. Be the new person who was made to be like God, truly good and pleasing to Him. Ephesians 4, 23 and 24. So now, we're going to play a game. It's sort of like hot potato, but I'm going to call it hot chopsticks. So, we're going to each say a word from the memory verse and whoever has the chopsticks at the end by the reference is out. So you guys can try this with your family too. We're gonna play now. Ready? Set. Go. You must be made new in your hearts and in your thinking. Be the new person. God. Right? No. No. 
<laughs> Who was made to be like God, truly good and pleasing to Him? She cheated. Ephesians 4, 23 and 24. Oh, oh. You're out. You start. You must be made new in your heart and in your thinking. Be the person yes. who was made to be like God, truly good and pleasing to him. Ephesians 4, 23 and 24. Okay. You must be made new in your heart and in your thinking. Be the new person who was made to be like God, truly good and pleasing to Him. Ephesians 4, 23 to 24. Well, it's about to, time to leave. So before we go, let me take this time and pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for taking the punishment of our sins and died on the cross for us. And help us uh, to take off lying and to put on the truth this week. We love you. Amen. Well, we'll see you next week. Bye. Becoming a ninja warrior is not an easy road, but with God's help, we are all up for the challenge.